What's up, guys? Leopold the Brave. Uh, uh, quick message. Okay. <clears throat> Whew, to to Gotta get a better episode. recording situation for these things. One of you even Come back. <laughs> on the intros. Well, Again, pe for people who don't know, my laptop makes this weird buzzing noise because I overheated so much that the fan melted off. So now, like, the bottom part is pressing and squishing up against the top part and squeezing the fan so it makes that buzzing noise. Um, I'm probably describing it really wrong, but that's that's basically what happened um, from making these videos. So I'm working on getting a new PC, not a laptop, because I'm done with laptops. A good, powerful PC that can render these HD universes episodes no problem. Um, because this is just sad. I can't even run TF2 or it might overheat. I want to play TF2 again. Um, but anyways, this is Samurai Jack vs. Link. I love Samurai Jack, he's really cool, but unfortunately he's one of those characters that everyone thinks wins all the time because he is really cool, even though in his show he loses quite a bit because some enemies are just too tough. <clears throat> he's one of those Batman and Chuck Norris type characters where people are like, he wins because he's blank. Batman wins because he's Batman. You know, that whole sort of deal. Unfortunately, that's the case with Samurai Jack 2, because a lot of the comments I got spammed with, they didn't give any reason. They just said, I think Samurai Jack wins, because he's cool and fast. And I'm like, Link is cool and fast too? Um, and this is only Breath of the Wild Link, because if I did Composite Link, I don't know, then there'd be all this inconsistent stuff. They'd sound way stronger than they actually are. Like, I think, I think Composite is like, star, I don't know, star level or something? This is why Versus Battles Wiki isn't trustworthy. <laughs> they have like Composite Link at star level or solar system level, I don't, I don't know where they have him at, but they have him at some ridiculously high level that he shouldn't be at. And it's, it's weird. Hmm. Jack now seeks to um, but I actually discovered Samurai, um, I discovered Samurai Jack last year. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of those people who got to see Samurai Jack, like, every, when I was a kid, or something. It was one of those shows I discovered later, because as a kid, I was mostly a Nickelodeon person, you know, Spongebob, Fairly Odd Parents, you got your Jimmy Neutrons, all that. And I, for some reason, wasn't allowed to watch a lot of the shows on Cartoon Network. I have no idea why. Like, Ed, Ed, Nettie, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, I just don't know why. I just wasn't allowed to watch them for whatever reason, and I don't remember. Um... But, now that I'm older, I just got around to watching all those cartoons I missed out on for some reason. And they're really good. And I wish I had them in my childhood, but I wasn't. I didn't. Um... So yeah, Samurai Jack was one of them. I decided to start watching it once the reboot was announced. It was announced in 2015, I think. Or not reboot, continuation. But it was announced in 2015, I think, and it was supposed to come out in 2016. But it didn't, I think. I think that's how it was done, I do not remember. Um, but yeah, I watched a bit of the first se season, and then I watched the re uh, continuation, season 5, when it came out. And then after that, I watched everything in between. So... I watched it in a very weird order, but I got the full story, so that's that. Um, 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 let me see. What else is there to talk about? There's not really much to talk about. Oh no! Um, let's talk about Breath of the Wild. It was a really fun game. I tried getting it on day one, but uh, Amazon, as usual, does not ship games on time. Like, I bought Tekken 7. I pre-ordered Tekken 7 back in February. And Amazon did not send Tekken 7 until the day after it came out. Why? I don't know. I pre-ordered it. That means I should get the game as soon as you can possibly get it. I mean, some people were getting the game a week early, and I didn't get it until a day late. What's the deal, Amazon? What's the deal? Oh, I've got the burpees today. Um, so yeah. I got Breath of the Wild off of Amazon, like, very close to day one, but not exactly day one. And I was obsessed with it. I played it for, like, an entire month, like, every day for a whole month, several hours, just... Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild, gotta play it, Breath of the Wild. 
but um, pretty much after that I never touched it again. <laughs> because, to be honest, one of the criticisms it gets is that there's nothing to do in there after you finish everything, and it's kind of right. I mean, after you finish everything, obviously there's going to be nothing left to do. But I mean, even GTA 5 has an online mode where there's cool races and shootouts and heists you can do to earn more money, customizing your character and all that. But with Breath of the Wild, all that's really left to do after you do everything is hunt for Korak seeds, which is not very fun. I mean, once you do all the shrines and all the side quests, there's nothing else. There's a bunch of NPCs you can talk to that say the same thing over and over again. And you can fight things every now and then, but... Eh. I mean, I think you can replay shrines, I don't remember. I think you can. I'm not sure. Um, and I don't think you can redo the Ganon boss fights like the Water Blight Ganon, Wind Blight Ganon. I don't think you can redo them or not. So I don't even think you can redo some boss fights. So you can't even just go back and fight again. But you can do the champion mode thing where you set yourself back down to three hearts. And then try and fight Ganon like that, so that's also a thing you can do. Um, but overall there's just not much in terms of replay value actually once you finish everything. Like there is with GTA 5. Man, that game has lasted a while. Um, but yeah, I like Samurai Jack, I like Breath of the Wild, it's just a good deal. Uh, next time, we have Saitama vs. Captain Underpants. I've been plotting that one since the fictional fights days. I was born to do Saitama vs. Captain Underpants. The caped baldy superhero parody vs. the caped baldy superhero parody. Ooh, it's gonna be so good. Um, I am a huge fan of One Punch Man. They've already shown up twice in universes. One win, one loss. Um, I'm also a fan- I was a fan of Captain Underpants as a kid. And I did enjoy the recent movie, um, but I don't know if I'd ever go back and read any of the books. I mean, I have to for research, but I don't know if I'd do them for fun. Um, but I really did enjoy the movie. It didn't try to take itself seriously, which was good, because, I mean, it's a movie about bald man and his underwear. It made all, all this wacky stuff, like this organ kids have that causes laughter. Kind of like the laugh box from Spongebob, so... Just all this different made-up childish stuff in the Captain Underpants movie and lots of toilet humor and it was great it was great funnily funnily enough it wasn't much about the toilet hu it wasn't okay it wasn't mostly toilet humor I mean there was a lot of it because it's Captain Underpants but it wasn't about the toilet humor it was more about the childlike wonder of finding toilet humor funny and I thought it was a neat perspective on fart jokes I'm talking about Captain Underpants. <laughs> but I know... I know the results... Whatever happens, people are going to be angry, no matter what, because it involves Saitama. And a joke character. Because people are going to complain at me for not putting Saitama against a serious opponent. And not taking him seriously. Or people are going to fuss at not letting the... Uh, bigger joke character win. Like, if Captain Underpants loses, people are gonna fuss at me like, Oh, come on, no, Captain Underpants, he has Toon Force, he has to win. Toon Force minions, an automatic win. And then if Saitama, I'm probably gonna get that, um, oh, he can one-punch everything, he has no limits, yada yada yada. Ooh boy. That's gonna be fun. So whatever happens, there's going to be a flame war. I'm not scared anyways, because... Yeah, they'll be angry at that episode, but it'll go away completely by next episode. You'll see. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say for this episode. Uh, gotta get up and stop the recording. Okay.